Thank you very much, Minister. You're very welcome to the House, and I'd like to thank you, Vanna, who, like me, was working on this issue for initiating the motion before us. And I am very happy to be able to second the motion. I thank you for your cooperation. I raised this issue back in May uh, during our Shannon debate on the abducted schoolgirls in Nigeria uh, that Boko Haram had threatened to sell into forced marriage. And I suppose, like many people, felt helpless as we look on at a situation. And it made me think: Is there anything that we can do? And for me, this is one area that we can do something, is to send a clear message that the age for marriage is 18. And that is something I think we have to take a responsibility. I made the worrying correlation to the fact that in Ireland, in certain court orders, special circumstances, exemptions to the ordinary legal age for marriage of 18 years can be made, which in effect means Ireland does not currently prohibit all child marriages. I feel it's important to note that Ireland is bound by a number of international human rights laws and standards, the provisions of which are profoundly incompatible with child marriage. For example, the International Bill of Rights, the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, CEDAW, the Supplementary Convention on the Abolition of Slavery, the Slave Trade and Institutions and Practices Similar to Slavery. More recently, in September 2013, along with fellow EU member states, supported the United Nations Human Rights Council resolution on strengthening efforts to prevent and eliminate child early and forced marriage, challenges, achievements, best practice and implementation gaps. The EU, as a negotiating bloc at the International Fora, condemns the prevalence of child marriages. Yet, makes provision for it in a number of its own jurisdictions. For example, in Germany and Italy. If we look at Germany under 18, if one of the parties to be wed is at least 16 years old, but not yet 18 years old, the German age of emancipation, then that the party needs to seek approval from the family court in order to be wed. Consent of the concerned party's parents is not sufficient. In Italy, they need a sworn statement of consent to the marriage by the parents or the legal guardian if the child is under the age of 18. Exploitation of young girls through violence and abuse, including forced and arranged marriages, is a global problem. According to Girls Not Brides, every year approximately 14 million girls are married before they turn 18, across countries, cultures and religions. They're robbed of their childhood, they're denied their rights to health, education and security. And according to the UNFPA, by 2030, the number of child brides marrying each, other each year will have grown from 14.2 million in 2010 to 15.1 million. That's a 14% rise if the current trend continues. If we look at an example of a country like Iraq, in March this year, the Iraqi Justice Minister tabled a bill that would allow girls as young as nine years of age to marry. While reports have indicated that it's unlikely that the law will pass, it represents a worrying trend towards religious tendencies usurping girls' human rights. In response to the bill, prominent Iraqi human rights activist Hanwar Adwar said, the law represents a crime against humanity and childhood. Married, underage girls are subjected to physical and psychological suffering. This contention is known to be true. The more than 60 million girls married under the age of 18 worldwide have a higher risk of death and injury during childbirth, they have fewer marketable skills, they have lower lifetime income, and they have a higher rate of HIV, uh, they're exposed to domestic violence and illness for themselves and their families than their unwed peers. And they are facts. Minister, it's completely inappropriate and frankly contradictory that we in Ireland speak out against child marriages in countries such as India, Nigeria, Malawi, Iraq, Nepal, Ethiopia and Bangladesh, while our statute books still allow for an exemption to the normal marriage age and fails actually to specify a minimum age for such an exemption. And as Senator Batchik has outlined in 2012, we see that there was 28 marriages registered under the exemption. And as is clear from the language as outlined by Senator Batchik, the exemption threshold is very broad and it uses standard language, giving the court wide discretion. This means that decisions pertaining to allowing children to marry are made behind closed doors. They can be often subject to the in-camera rule since the parties to the application of children. And yet, from the moment they are married, they become adults. They're outside all our child protection laws. 
and yet those decisions we never hear about. We don't hear about these vulnerable children. In this regard, I'd be interested whether the Family Law Reporting Project has come across many of these cases, and they may be able to shine a light for us on the prevalence and the general circumstances in which they occur. Indeed, there is no written judgment in the High Court case uh, referenced in this motion. This case concerns the annulment of a 16-year-old girl's marriage to a 29-year-old man on the basis of the girl's lack of capacity to give true consent. I'd like anybody to think how a 16-year-old can give consent to a marriage to a 29-year-old. And it's not in Iraq I'm talking about, I'm talking about Ireland. This happened in Ireland. However, Justice McMenamin felt the case raised concerns of such magnitude that it warranted his making a general comment about the danger of this legal loophole to children. So we're faced with a choice here. As the legislator, we must provide guidance for the courts to implement the statutory provisions that are there as they're intended, or, and that would be my preference, we can lead by example and we can remove or amend the statutory provision currently allowing minors to marry. I believe that Ireland should send a clear signal to children in Ireland that we protect childhoods. We've had excellent debates here in the Shannon on protecting childhoods, that the age for marriage is 18. We're talking about consent. So for me, we should set, set it at 18. Um, and also, it would mean that as Ireland, and also when we're part of the EU as a negotiating bloc, we're not speaking and saying, you know, we can understand cultural differences and our courts can adjudicate. However, in other countries, we don't trust your courts. So for me, we need to clearly send a message and let's set the age at 18 without exemption. Thank you. Senator Henry.